The Princess of Wales and Prince William exchanged fist bumps this morning instead of handshakes, and she looked professional in a pinstripe suit. For her engagement, which coincides with the 75th anniversary of the arrival of HMT Empire Windrush in the UK, Kate chose a stylish tailored trouser suit. As the sun beamed down on her and Prince William, she chose to wear her brown hair down in loose curls. A throng of schoolchildren waving flags from all around the world greeted the royal couple as they approached while they were meeting with seniors from the Windrush generation in Grangetown this afternoon. The Prince and Princess of Wales were welcomed by a mob of schoolchildren eager to meet the royals when they arrived at the Grange Pavilion in Grangetown, Cardiff. Their Royal Highnesses shook hands with the young royal admirers and gave some students a high five or a small fist bump. Prince William appeared enthralled with a child student's headband that had two pink pom-poms as they greeted the young admirers, who were waving flags from Wales and other countries around the world. The Grange Pavilion in Grangetown is one of Kate and William's engagements today. There, they will meet representatives from the Windrush Simru Elders, Black History Simru 365, and the Ethnic Minority Youth Forum for Wales. Together, the Grange Pavilion Project, Grangetown Community Action, Cardiff University, and Cardiff Council transformed a defunct Bulls Pavilion into a community centre as part of the The Grange Pavilion Collaboration Project. For the Ethnic Minority Youth Forum, Windrush Simru Elders, and Black History Simru 365 for Wales, the location serves as a vital gathering place and provides a community café, job, and training possibilities. The Windrush Simru Elders Organization, which is a branch of Race Council Simru, was founded in 2017. Its mission is to celebrate the accomplishments of the Windrush generation and individuals of African origin in Wales while also promoting understanding of the needs and concerns of ethnic minority elders. The elders' personal stories and the impact their generation has had on Wales since their arrival 75 years ago were shared with the prince and princess. Their Royal Highnesses are also spending time with the Elders and the Ethnic Minority Youth Forum, a youth advisory body for Race Council Simru made up of young people between the ages of 11 and 25 who want to speak out for young people in Wales from minority ethnic groups. Last, but not least, the Prince and Princess will interact with young people in the Somali community, who makes up a sizable component of Grangetown. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.